So Microsoft has finally introduced the new start menu for Windows 11 in the Canary channel to the Windows Insider program. It's been around for a while now, but it was a hidden feature and it wasn't actually available for testing. But now you don't have to enable this if you get the Canary channel. And uh, yeah, it looks like Microsoft is finally you know, testing this new start menu. One of the weirdest thing is that it is actually also available in the Windows 11 25 Edge 2. It's not enabled by default, but you can enable it. So this is a Windows 11 25 Edge 2, the stable build, and I have enabled it. Okay, so it's actually already available in the stable release of Windows 11, but you have to enable it. And as they say here, this new start menu isn't available for all insiders yet. First, they're gonna monitor the user feedback, whether they like it or not. And then they are planning to push this out to everyone. I have this build installed. Now, again, you don't have to enable it. Once you get this build, in your Canary channel and restart your PC, you'll be greeted with the new start menu. Yeah, I know it's huge. And to be honest, I like this new start menu. All of your apps is in one place. There is no second page like here. Let me show you guys. So this is the old start menu. If you want to find all of your apps, you have to go and click on all. And then, yeah, you know how it is. This new start menu, you'll find all of your apps in here and you can view them by category or grid or the list. But in my opinion, the category one is the best. Now, this is Windows 11 25 H2. I have this new start menu enabled. So here you can see this is uh, Windows 11 25 H2, the stable uh, build. Okay, it's not dev or anything like that. This is actually a Windows 11 25 H2 stable version. And yes, uh, you can enable this new start menu in here. Since this new start menu is already present in the stable release of Windows 11, we might see this start menu sooner than we expect if Microsoft gets the positive feedback for the new start menu. If Microsoft gets the negative feedback, we might see a slight redesign or tweaks and that might delay the new start menu release. Again, this new start menu is actually already available in this stable release, but you have to enable it. It's a hidden feature. If you want to test this out, I recommend you guys to test it on virtual machine. Uh, let me actually show you guys how to enable it. For the stable release, this is still a experimental feature. So again, test this on the virtual machine, okay? So you have to get this tool called Vive Tool from the GitHub, free and open source stuff, okay? Uh, and under assets, download this, okay? It's a zip file. Now go to your downloads folder and then unzip it and then go to the folder and then copy the address of that folder and open terminal as administrator and then here open command prompt okay and then type here cd and paste the location of the wipe tool that we just copied okay and hit enter now we have to enter this code here okay and then we have to hit enter and it will say successfully set feature configurations. Once you see this message, you have to restart your PC. After a restart, you'll be greeted with the new start menu again. Yeah, it's already available in the stable release of uh, Windows 11 25 H2. You can enable it. It's a hidden feature, but still this is an experimental feature. So if you want to test this or you just want to play around with it, test this on virtual machine. I like the new start menu actually, okay? Uh, I'm gonna give the positive feedback to the Microsoft and I don't know about you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments, what do you think about the new start menu? Yeah, it's actually a lot bigger than the normal start menu. The one that we had, you can say it's tiny and this one is actually big. <laughs> That's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the new start menu? I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.